Okay, I've downloaded HyperCam now, and I'd like to just first show you when you open up uh, eMachine Shop a few settings that you need to make so that um, your eMachine Shop looks like my eMachine Shop on the screen. Uh, hopefully this is going to work better because the camera didn't work out very well with the glare and focus problems. So first thing I want to click on up here at the top is Edit, and then I want to click on Preferences. And then under general, um, want to leave when starting automatically read, check, save design every, I want to change this to every two minutes. Under backup to auto save EMS, I want to do that to every two minutes to make sure we don't lose anything. Uh, there are some other things in here. We don't want to email eMachine Shop. We don't want to automatically send uh, information to them. Uh, this software is actually designed for you to um, order parts made from them, but they do do let you use it free. Um, I have mine set. I, went, I switched to metrics up at the top. Now I have mine set at inches and degrees, uh, three decimal places, and then show units of measurement. Okay, uh, grid. I do not use the grid. Then click on 2D. I'm in diameter mode, smart zoom, rotate each line around its center, everything's checked here in diameter mode. Nothing in coloring, nothing in pricing, nothing in ordering. Uh, click on customize. Uh, I want the file menu toolbar. I want the edit menu toolbar. I want the arc button, the scroll button, basically everything on the left hand side. And then on the right side, show icons and workspace is thread. When that's all done, click OK. Then what you need to do is um, over on the left side, click the circle button or square button or something. It doesn't matter, even a line. And just go ahead and make a circle or anything. And what we're going to do is we're going to save a file and then export it so I can show some settings that you can change. So once you've made your circle, Click on File, and then click on Save, and Untitled will show up. Now you can pick where you're going to save it. I'll save this to Documents. Um, I usually start a, a directory for each um, project I have going. That way I keep the files in their own individual directory. But I'm going to leave it saved as Untitled, and I'll just save it. It's going to say it already exists. That's fine. I'm just going to go over the top of it. So it saved that circle. Now I'm going to click on Export, on File, Export, and you can see Untitled in the uh, uh, file name again, so I'm going to go ahead and export it as an Untitled. But before I do that, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, your screen probably has some of these selections checked off, like uh, Show Scale Indicator, Comments, Selected Only. You want to eliminate all these. Take the check boxes out of all the right side things. Uh, these are so that when it actually saves this file or prints out the file, that it looks more like a, uh, a blueprint type of design and actually shows uh, a lot more information than just your drawing. I only use just the drawing. Uh, that way when I open it up in D2 and C to work with it, I don't have a lot of other things on the screen that I have to delete off before I can work with my actual drawing. So just make sure you shut everything off on this side. Then click export and once again it says I already have it and I'm going to replace it. Sorry, I've got to pause here a second. My grandson come in. You have to go in the other room. Logan? You won't sit down. You won't be good. No. 